everybody, this is Alyssa from Mink Arts and Crafts, and today we are doing a post review of the kit Moon Love by the artist Sevi, and this comes to us from Diamond Artisan Shop. And this was my kit that I used for two events uh, that are ongoing right now. I used it as my first finish for uh, um, the feline, uh, Fantastic Felines event. I was going to call it Feline Familiars, which is a kit name. The Fantastic Felines 2024, hosted by Laura and uh, Hannah. So Laura over at uh, Anxiety Art Adventures, and then Hannah over at uh, Sparkling Spectrumite. Uh, so it's my first finish for that uh, event. And then it is also my first finish for Sailor Summer 2024, uh, which is hosted by uh, Sophie over at the Diamond Help Desk and uh, Liz over at Sleeping Luna Designs. So those are the two events that I'm doing this for and I am super, super, super excited about having finished this kit. It is adorable. I love everything about it. I mean, like the image is the cutest artwork ever and it was so much fun to do. So these are how many drills I had left over. So many drills left at the end and like some of these colors I didn't have a lot to begin with so that's why I didn't have a lot of colors left over. Uh, I loved the fact that I had so many of these glitters left over uh, so, or well the glimmer uh, drills so many glimmer drills or fairy dust I guess you could call it and a lot of the crystals left over. I mean I have a uh, like almost I would call that uh, it goes up to here, so like two-fifths of the container, not quite half, but two-fifths of the large container of crystals left over. Uh, and I used three containers, I think, of crystals uh, for this kit, but that is how many drills I had left over. So we'll go into the stats real quickly. I start, this had 24 colors, it's squares, 50 by 50, uh, well, 50 centimeter diameter. Um, I started it on August 3rd and finished it on August 10th, but it only took me... 13 hours and 50 minutes. So I had a lot of downtime where I was not working on it for one reason or another. Uh, it had two of the shimmer, glimmer, fairy dust, pixie dust, whatever you want to call it, drills, uh, two ABs and one crystal. And this is and it what it looks like. I mean, look at how gorgeous it is. So the original art, the picture for the original art was basically the image of Artemis and Luna on a white background. And I love the fact that Brandy had it rendered with like the crystals as the background. So you didn't just have a white background that you were diamond painting. It gave us something super different and unique, which totally worked for the fact that this is like a moon image and you're in the sky. Uh, and that totally worked for this. Uh, and I love how it turned out. I'm finding like random drills that did not pop all the way down as I'm running my fingers over it. So I'm pushing them down. This, as you can see, is the cutest thing ever. I love how the drills look. Though, like there was, and this was beautifully rendered. There's no unnecessary confetti of any type. So you could see it definitely looked like it was hand charted. The one thing that, uh, like for me, I don't like, I'm the person that goes through and puts washi tape around the border of all of my kits. So having this round means I could not washi tape the border. I would have had to do like a very interesting washi tape job to washi it around a circle, which so obviously I did not washi tape this. Um, the, I felt like the crystal background was perfect. I did notice I, if I were to do this again, I would start with the fairy dust or pixie dust glimmers, whatever you want to call them, shimmer drills, whatever you want to call them in, uh, uh, Luna, in Luna, cause Luna is her entire, all of this white is pixie dust. And I noticed that the, what, for some reason, the white pixie dust in Luna's body and I placed them as what best I could. And once I kind of smushed them down, they, I felt like it it was kind of one of those things where they didn't want to stay super well, but once I rolled them, they stayed better. Uh, one thing that I did run into this kit is the adhesive was slightly less sticky than I felt like it should have been, which is the first time I've ever had that happen with a Diamond Artisan kit. And all of my Diamond Artisan kits that I've worked on prior to this, which I, this is my fifth Diamond Artisan kit that I've finished. Um, so the other four that I've done have had amazing adhesive and I've never had any problems. So this is the first one that I felt like the adhesive had and it was lacking. And it was the entire canvas just had a slightly less tacky adhesive than normal and that just meant that I had to use I couldn't use like fresh fresh putty I had to make my putty uh significantly like less sticky than normal in order to get the drills to stay down and that was something that was just kind of annoying as I was working and made it take longer than it should have because a kit like this should have gone a little bit 
quicker for me uh, with how much color blocking there was. And that also is part of why I think I'm having issues with uh, some of these drills wanting to kind of pop back up a little bit because they fit the grid fits perfectly and like and it fits wonderfully but I think the snugness of our um, glimmer or shimmer whatever our pixie dust fairy dust over here in uh, Luna uh, which look beautiful the drills look beautiful um, my placement kind of leaves a little bit to be desired sometimes but there's some areas where um, they kind of want to pop up a little bit and if the adhesive was holding them down better that would not be happening so there's ones that where i feel like i'm constantly kind of going back through to place them back down so this is one that i might actually go in and like seal portions of the painting um just to kind of get it to i might seal the non uh i may seal the whole thing actually just to, to call it good uh, for this painting I uh, kind of do it with that to give it that kind of make sure nothing comes up because it is such an adorable kit and this is one that I think would actually I would love to actually hang because it is so wonderful uh, and I do love it because it's the cutest thing and it's cats and you guys know I love my cats I love my babies Mochi's got a toy on the floor and she's holding the toy with her paws and licking it um, because you know and rubbing her face all over it because you know cat so that's what she's doing but the actual render itself looked phenomenal the lack of confetti and the actual like which looked like this was completely hand charted which looked wonderful uh, and I loved the blending of colors here in the moon where you have the darkest colors and then it fades up and then this whole upper portion of the moon right here in this yellow is all that um, glimmer shimmer pixie dust fairy dust whatever you want to call it that's all those special drills right up here in the top so it was beautiful um it was wonderful we're going to kind of come down so you can see um it gives it a really gorgeous look in person so you can see those um, drills they're gorgeous and then all the crystals there the white is also that same drills a b's inside the ears a b's here it is stunning you got the um fairy dust in the uh, moon slices here it is just a stunning kit i love it and then like the the shading of the colors for our for you see on the belly right through here it just it works and it looks fantastic and this is something that i am extremely pleased with how it turned out and like my only complaint obviously being the fact that i think that i just ended up getting uh, a batch that just was lacking a little bit on adhesive so i think they just didn't give us give me enough of the adhesive on this kit or it was just a slightly less sticky batch of adhesive and that was my one complaint but i mean that's something that you get once in a while from any company i've had that um which really uh i've had that from uh now the this is only the second shop i've ever had that issue with the, the other shop being diamond art club i've had that i think on four four canvases from diamond art club but not um uh, this was not as severe of an issue as it has been on my diamond art club canvases so that was not nearly as frustrating as the canvases i've worked on from diamond art club that have had adhesive issues but so it was just very very mild it was just slightly less tacky than i would have desired um which is like i think was probably just one of those random one-off things but beautiful beautiful finish uh like i said no complaints other than the adhesive everything else uh i had it on the table and uh sushi came over and sat on it so now i have like a hair right there and i'm like it's bothering me they don't shed but then uh, they'll sit on something sticky and then there'll be like little you know tail fluff and tail fuzz that'll stick to the adhesive and i'll get that on my painting but anyways this is moon love by the artist sevi from diamond artisan shop and that was my first finish for the event and it just looks so stunning so if you are on the fence about picking up this kit i highly 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 recommend it the crystals were fantastic they were all uniform symmetrical sizes and i had very very few trash crystals so i was extremely pleased with crystals i've um didn't have any issues placing them and getting them to fit and worked out fantastic so that's something if you were worried about that no worries because they were wonderful to place and use for this entire background and it was wonderful to do um, but that is all that i have you guys for today and i will see you guys in the next video have a great day everybody bye